Hello everyone, welcome to week 8 of Fun at Home English. Today we will look at the answers to the questions from last week's story. My family, four floors up. Then I want to introduce a new story to you. We can read the story together and then you can answer some questions. Let's go! After you've filled in your English name, your class and your class number, you can see the questions. Firstly, what is the title of the story? The title is My Family Four Floors Up. Who is the author? It says, written by. The author is the writer. It is written by Caroline Stutson. Who is the illustrator? It says, illustrated by Celia Crampen. Which floor does the girl live on? She lives on the fourth floor. Which floor do you live on? You need to tell me your answer. For me, I live on the eighth floor. So I'll put eight. This story talks about colours. Which thing does the girl say is yellow? Hello morning, yellow sun. She says the sun is yellow. Which thing does the girl say is brown? Hurry, scurry, small, brown, pup. The answer is her pup. That means her dog. Which thing does the girl say is red? Goodbye, red door, four floors up. The red thing is her door. Which thing does the girl say is black? Hello, sidewalk, many feet. Goodbye, black cat, city street. It is the cat. Her cat is black. Then she goes to the park. Which thing is green? The park is green. Hello, green park. Bright blue sky. So the blue thing is the sky. Later it starts to rain and she says grey clouds hover. So the grey things are the clouds. Which thing is white? When she goes home and goes to bed, she looks out of her window and she sees the white moon. The moon is white. And lastly, which thing is pink? Three friends settle, drift to sleep, count, count, counting, pink, cloud, sheep. So they are pink cloud sheep or you can just say sheep. The sheep are pink. What does the girl do in the morning? What does it say? Yummy breakfast. Day's begun. She's eating her breakfast. In the morning we eat breakfast. The girl goes out with her dad. She sees many... Hello, sidewalk. Many feet. There are many feet walking along the road. Where does the girl go with her dad? She goes to the park. 
Then what does she play on at the park? She plays on the swings. What animals does she that does she see there at the park? She sees some baby ducks. They are ducklings. Goodbye, ducklings, wobbling by. Next, she needs to go home. What is the weather like? Grey clouds hover, all complain, drip, drip, dripping in the rain. It's rainy now. Look at the picture. What do the people need to use? They use umbrellas in the rain. The girl goes home. What does she do at home? Hello, bubbles, rubber dub. Splash, splash, splashing in the tub. She's taking a bath. What does she do with her dad? After the bath, she snuggles into bed to read a book with dad. The girl sleeps with her two pets. What are they? Three friends settle. Look at the picture. It's her dog and her cat. This week's story is called Scaredy Monster and the Slumber Party. Look at the cover. Scaredy Monster is a purple monster. He has horns on his head. He has green arms and legs. This story is about a slumber party. That's when you go to your friend's house to sleep over. The author of this story is Mika Hashimoto. And the illustrator is Steve Lamb. Scaredy Monster is excited. His first slumber party is tonight. Mummy Monster gives Scaredy Monster an overnight bag to pack. Scaredy Monster packs pajamas, clean clothes, a toothbrush, and toothpaste. He finds a sleeping bag and a pillow. Finally, he puts Teddy Monster in the bag. Scaredy Monster has never, ever spent a night without Teddy Monster. Mummy Monster and Scaredy Monster go to the car. Oh no! Teddy Monster falls out of the bag. Scaredy Monster does not notice. Mummy Monster drives Scaredy Monster to Timmy Monster's house. Scaredy Monster gets out of the car. Mummy Monster kisses him goodbye. Scaredy Monster goes into the living room. He sees other monsters building a pillow fort. Scaredy Monster helps out. He puts the last pillow on a gigantic fort. Next, Scaredy Monster plays pin the tail on the dragon. Scaredy Monster wins! At dinner time, Scaredy Monster chomps on a big slice of pizza. He loves his first slumber party. At 
bedtime, Scaredy Monster puts on his pyjamas. He brushes his teeth. All of the monsters get into their sleeping bags. Timmy puts on a movie. Timmy's mummy turns off the light. In the dark, the monsters watch the movie. The movie is spooky. Too spooky. Scaredy Monster starts to get scared. Scaredy Monster looks for Teddy Monster. Teddy Monster is gone. Now Scaredy Monster is really scared. One by one, the monsters fall asleep. But not Scaredy Monster. Scaredy Monster is wide awake. Outside, the wind howls and moans. There are shadows and maybe even a horrible monster. Scaredy Monster pulls the sleeping bag over his head. He misses his bed. He misses Teddy Monster. He misses Mummy Monster. Scaredy Monster sits up. He begins to cry. Timmy's mummy hurries to the living room. She asks Scaredy Monster what is wrong. Scaredy Monster says he wants to go home. Timmy's mummy is nice to Scaredy Monster, but she is not Mummy Monster. Timmy's mummy calls Mummy Monster. Mummy Monster says she will come right away. Mummy Monster arrives. She tells Scaredy Monster it is okay to feel scared. Everyone gets scared sometimes. Mummy Monster tells Scaredy Monster He was brave to ask for help. She has something to help Scaredy Monster feel better. It is Teddy Monster. Scaredy Monster hugs Teddy. He feels better. He feels braver. Scaredy Monster Tells Mummy Monster he wants to stay. He goes back inside. Scaredy Monster gets into his sleeping bag. He holds Teddy Monster close. Timmy's Mummy turns off the light. Good night, Scaredy Monster. Happy slumber party. The end. Now we've read the story, you can answer some questions about it. Firstly, tell me, what is your English name? Which class are you in? And what is your class number? Let's look at the questions. What is the title of this story? Who is the author of the story, the writer? Who is the illustrator, the one who draws the pictures? What is a slumber party? At the beginning, how does Scaredy Monster feel? What does he put in his bag? You can choose more than one item. What toy does he put in his bag? 
how does Scaredy Monster go to his friend's house? Whose house does Scaredy Monster go to? Which two activities does Scaredy Monster do at his friend's house? What does Scaredy Monster eat for dinner? What does Scaredy Monster do at bedtime? The monsters watch a movie. How does Scaredy Monster feel? Scaredy Monster can't find Teddy Monster. He can't sleep. What does he do? Timmy's mum comes. What does she do? Mummy Monster comes. What does she say? What does Mummy Monster bring for Scaredy Monster to help him feel better? How does Scaredy Monster feel at the end? What does Scaredy Monster do at the end? Do you like this story? Why or why not? You can tell me, yes. I like this story because, or no, I don't like this story because. See you next week. Have fun.